Okay, back in the game. I figured out why it always crashed at the end. It was because uh, the enemy's morale broke, and then it uh, meant to switch to the next map. But being that, I think how the game handles uh, the maps is that the first one, like the strategic uh, portion of the game, is a separate application than the actual operational portion. So, um... I, I still managed to get the footage, so it should be fine. But uh, on to the next battle, the 424th versus uh, Falschemiger division. Yep. And I'll see you in the game. Oh no, we managed to get here. Fine. So okay, let's view our map. Hmm. Okay. Well. I really want to use these uh, forests to our advantage, maybe place a reservist squad inside them so then we can use them in a later battle, but chances are they'll just head down this road. And they'll definitely take that point and I'll give them that one. Um, yeah, I guess the overall plan is to just hold the city. Okay, so for our deployment, we will have two scout divisions, and these will just be placed inside the forest. We will get two MG teams to support our infantry. Infantry, rifle teams, what are, what's the difference? Okay, so one has a browning and one doesn't. Okay, see you in the game. Okay, folks, and I am back. Now, how this battle is set up is that uh, we have our two AT guns pointed down this road, particularly here and here. So that way I can hopefully get some side shots on their panthers. I've got two scout uh, squads inside the forest, so this way we can... Actually, this one is in the scout. Where is the other scout? There we go. This way our little uh, scouts open the area up for further deployment. So next round, uh, if they manage to take the city, I can put MGs here to just spray into this area, making it a kill zone. But for now, our eight, for now, this plan works. Actually, I think I'll put this MG right here and set it on ambush for now. Enemy spotted. We will begin. Is that a puma? I think that's a puma. Enemy spotted. It's still night. It's light tank killer. It's a headser. No, it's a martyr. Okay. Five. Okay, that works. My tank killer is burning. Enemy spotted. Enemy spotted. Yeah, we cannot lose those AT guns. They are the most Take vital por portion of our defense, and why are my platoon leaders going outside of that house? That's a Falschemiger infantry division, so... Uh, why are these people leaving these buildings? They should be staying inside. It's kind of 
the next blessing. It leaves craters and they go good cover. But it also suppresses the enemy, so it's it's alright. And we just want to shell them to hell right now. Looks like they're moving upwards. Drop some illumination. I really don't want them to come into the village right here. I'd rather keep them inside the forests, but um, chances are I'm going to pull out uh, very soon. Now I don't know if these um, early game provinces are really worth keeping. So. Probably be moving back very soon. Maybe on the second uh, turn. But uh, I'll wait and see. Right now, it looks like uh, this province and the one we played before, uh, this one. These two should be fine. This one's a Falschmiger division. Actually, I'm not. I'm not particularly sure on the map we just played on, but I think we will be fine here, as long as we don't get encircled, of course. But we have three passways, so that's not very likely. But I think it's a German MG that's making the whoopee cushion noise. I find it kind of strange and funny at the same time. Buy this game on Amazon.com and at the Matrix Games is a uh, site. That's where I bought it. I'd recommend you go with the boxed edition. It costs 50 Canadian. I think it's also 50 United States dollar. Not sure what the price is in euros. It's um definitely worth it, but uh, in general, I find Matrix Games is a uh, prices to be a little on the steep end. Shipping for uh, Canada is normally pretty expensive, but it was only, uh, what was it, six bucks? It was decent.
Okay, so uh, looks like the battle's pretty much over. We're just mopping up right now. All of these circles you see here are uh, command radiuses. Platoon leaders obviously give the most, and you know, AG guns obviously don't give a lot. Rifle teams, I think they should give more than they uh, do right now, but that's that. Apparently, mortar teams don't give any. Oh, I lost a machine gun team. I don't think uh, these teams come back once they're eliminated. Um, well, no, you you do get reinforcements, so I guess they do come back. Slowly though. Right now I'm just working on suppressing and holding these guys back. And apparently I'm not doing a very good job at it. It's this flamethrower guy. I think they brought up their MG nests, so they're now uh, suppressing my positions. But they are really hurting right now. I took out one of their tanks, and judging by this field, quite a lot of their men. Okay, so it was a heavy infantry Sturm Grenadier squad. Matching my fragile team. Green replacements. Okay. the right. So if I captured this waypoint, does that mean that I can stop their reinforcements or something? 